Part 4 looked at the numbers that relate to the beat and the passing of time in relation to music. In this final video, we'll look at the numbers and templates that provide the basis for strong and stable music writing. Thanks to two and a half thousand years of experimentation and through the study of mathematical ratios in relation to pitch, we have become accustomed to a palette of tones that can be used to express our innermost feelings, from simple melodies to complex harmonies. Even though there are differences in tuning between East and West, the fundamental underlying maths can always be used to good creative effect. The diatonic scales of major and minor Diatonic meaning that they both possess five whole tone intervals and two half tone intervals in their step patterns allow a very strong and reliable harmonic melodic template which can be explored simply and very effectively by using numbers. So much so that we can even allow chance to play its hand in helping to write the music. Many of the most popular songs are based on chord progressions which could be constructed by using just the numbers of 1 to 6, which you will find on the sides of a dice. Let's throw some numbers. The numbers thrown by each dice will form the numeric order of the chord progression. Here we have 1, 6, 4, 6. Let's look at how this works on the keyboard. Using the C major scale as a template, the numbers unfold numerically starting from the root. We are not using number 7 as it doesn't appear on the dice. Chord progressions use Roman numerals to signify the position of each chord according to the scale being used as the template. Keeping things as simple as possible, uppercase numerals represent major chords whilst lowercase numerals represent minor chords. When using a scale as a template in this manner, by only using the notes of the scale to form the subsequent chords, you will find that you can create a very cohesive sounding and pleasing sequence of chords because all of the notes that are being used for the chords are from the same scale. More on this a bit later. Looking at the numerals, a chord progression of 1-6-4-6 six, using only the notes of C major would equate to a chord sequence of C major, A minor, F major, and A minor. We will first look at the shapes of the chords as played during the following sequence. First is the C major chord in the position of second inversion. Next we have the A minor chord in root position. Next is the F major chord in the position of first inversion. And finally we have the A minor root position chord. We will now hear the chord sequence. This will be followed by the same sequence supporting a melody. The scale template now changes to C minor, which produces new chords and a more melancholic tone. The numeral positions remain the same, as do the scale numbers for the melody. Let's throw some more numbers.
Here we have 2, 4, 3 and 6. This time we will look at the chord progression on the blackboard. Here is the C major scale template over a range of two octaves, scale tone numbers 1 to 15. The numeral chord of 2 in the key of C major will produce a D minor triad. The root of D starts on scale tone number 2, and from there we build the minor triad which comprises the notes of D, F and A. The numeral 4 chord in the key of C major starts on scale tone number 4 and, using only the notes of the scale, forms an F major triad containing the notes of F, A and C. The numeral 3 chord in the key of C major starts on scale tone number 3. An E minor triad will be formed containing the notes of E, G and B. The numeral 6 chord in the key of C major starts on scale tone number 6 and comprises the notes of A, C and E to form an A minor triad. If desired, the note order of each chord can be changed and combined with other notes of the scale to create stronger musical flavours. Let's throw some more numbers. Here we have 1, 5, 2 and 1. So 1, 5, 2, 1 in the key of C major will result in a C major chord, a G major chord, a D minor chord and finally a C major chord. This time we'll look at the chords in the piano roll of Logic Audio. The blue lines at the bottom are the root position triads and the yellow lines above are the same chords arranged into more open voicings. The chords have been opened out. In bar 2, the numeral 5 chord of G major has been turned into a G dominant 7 chord. I have replaced the D with an F, which is the flattened 7th scale tone of G major, because I wanted the top and bottom notes of the chord to move outwards in contrary motion. You can see that as the progression repeats in bars 5, 6, 7 and 8, the chords open out further and further. Each of the last four chords also doubles one of its component notes. Let's hear what this sounds like. The piano roll now shows an added melody. You can pause the video to study the contents of each blue circle. The numbers represent the scale tones relative to the key of each chord, not the notes of the C major numeral template. In bars 2 and 6, F is marked as the flattened 7th of G major. The 7th scale tone of G major is an F sharp. In the context of bars 2 and 6, the F is seen as a flattened 7th. In bars 3 and 7, B is marked as the sharpened 6th of D minor. The 6th scale tone of D minor is a B flat. In the context of bars 3 and 7, the B is seen as a sharpened 6th. You will find that in each bar, the melody uses at least two notes of the underlying chord. And where there is only one note of the underlying chord present in the melody, it is the root of the chord, the strongest tone. Let's have a listen. Now let's bring the mathematics of this series together to create a dynamic, colourful and very musical arrangement of the same 1-5-2-1 progression. <laughs> 